suggesting that following the swearing in of the president and his deputy after the repeat presidential election, there is proposed to be another swearing in of another person or persons on the 12th of December uh, uh, this year. Now, I want to start by saying, for the avoidance of any doubt, that the Constitution of Kenya provides in clear terms, in Article 2, sub-Article 2, that no person may claim or exercise state authority except as authorized under the Constitution. No person may claim or exercise state authority as ex as, except as authorized by the Constitution. A swearing in of any person, any person, not lawfully declared to have won an election by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, and a swearing in that is not conducted by the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya is a process wholly unanticipated by the Constitution and is null and void and illegal ab initio. I hope I have made that absolutely clear. Further, and in addition, the criminal law of the Republic of Kenya in Article 40 of the Penal Code provides or stipulates that that sort of process is high treason. It is high treason in respect of the person so involved and any other person facilitating that process. I do not wish to spend more time on that issue because it is clear. 